there was really a huge lack of uh, transparency, uh, professionalism and um, at, the, at the shop and also at the service center. And in this uh, third week of May, um, Mobile Zone had on how the customer service manager took care of this problem seriously. And Hey everyone, back to my YouTube channel, Didi Lujavane. So happy to see you again and I hope that you guys are doing great. So, I guess everyone who watches this video couldn't agree more with me that a business comes when a trust exists. Before going to the main business, I'd like to thank everyone who supports my YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please hit the subscribe button and press the uppermost bell icon so that you will get the notification once a new video is uploaded. So in this video, you will learn a sort of business case, how it happened and why it happened and how MobileZone, a big handphone and accessories retailer here in Switzerland, coped with it. Well, I actually have described the case I was dealing with MobileZone in the latest and first video. So if you want to know the details, um, what I've done so far, then you can click the links up here or um, you can find the links in the description below. Anyway, long story short was that on 27 January 2022, I bought one handphone Oppo Reno6 at promotional price here at MobileZone Shop Geneva. And the price was 399 Swiss franc instead of 499 Swiss franc without taking any insurance uh, against loss or whatsoever. And so I paid uh, the first installment 239 Swiss franc and the remaining 160 is um, the amount that I have to pay uh, through a financing firm called UBC. This amount, um, 160, is supposed to be um, divided by 24 months, so 6.66 cents Swiss franc is the appropriate amount that I have to pay every month to UPC for two years. Three months later, I just realized that I paid 15.25 cents Swiss franc, which means that um, it's 8.59 cents Swiss franc more than the appropriate amount to be paid. So I checked the file and I found that you know, uh, the employee at mobile zone shop here made a mistake in the sense of price. So uh, what I did uh, to correct this pricing error was that first I went into mobile zone shop and discussed with the shop manager who claimed that the error was not from a mobile zone shop system, instead it was from a UPC system. And therefore I needed to call a UPC directly to solve the problem. Second, I called uh, UPC um, and told the problem, but then uh, they advised me to deal directly with MobileZone. So I called um, again uh, MobileZone service center uh, several times, uh, but I couldn't get any solution. And the third, I came again to the shop and discussed with the shop manager who uh, finally couldn't uh, solve the problem. So the last thing I did was called uh, the uh, mobile zone service center who I spoke with the uh, staff and uh, he was uh, I would say quite helpful because he advised me to send the, uh, the email uh, concerning the problem that I had and also um, which I did and also I sent uh, the letter by post office uh, addressed to the uh, customer service manager so if this happens to you what do you think of uh, the quality of their after sales service. Well, in my case, I personally viewed that uh, there was really a huge lack of uh, transparency, uh, professionalism and um, at, the, at the shop and also at the service center, particularly um, for the after sales service. So if I had been asked to appreciate my time, my energy on this business, then uh, it would have been um, worth uh, more than 1,000 uh, Swiss francs considering uh, the hourly rate of uh, white collar. So many unnecessary dramas with the shop manager 
and the staff at service center uh, uh, that shouldn't have happened if they had simply reacted to the uh, you know mistake came uh, from the shop uh, at the earliest time. Nevertheless, now the dark clouds in the sky have turned slightly into blue skies after having exchanged some information with customer service manager at um, Mobile Zone Service Center. Well, we know that sometimes uh, we can avoid from uh, getting a problem in our daily life and sometimes with a, a bit of drama. The question is um, how much time does the organization need to find a solution and what triggers the employee defend himself when making mistake. The organization do to avoid uh, from uh, dealing with the same or similar mistake in the future. Well, I'm not going to provide you with the answer to the questions, but I leave it up to you guys. So after having dealt with uh, unnecessary dramas with frontliner staff at, at the shop um, of Obalajon and also the uh, service center, I uh, eventually got a response from the customer service manager and the solution is there. And in this uh, third week of May, um, MobileZone has refunded me the amount that I shouldn't have paid to uh, UPC. This is great. So I do appreciate on how the customer service manager took care of this problem seriously and reacted to it rapidly. Thanks a lot for your good work and I hope that in the future any bizarre transaction can be checked as early as, as possible. And um, internal communication, quality service, uh, transparency will improve so that uh, clients don't have to spend too much time on the unimportant businesses. I think that what I've done so far can be exercised as a business case study for either the course of business ethics or uh, the entrepreneurial management. My review and feedback on um, mobile zones after sales service are heard and this is a good step for them to sustain their businesses and enlarge their market share in the future. And this organization should have been very happy to have me as a client who provided uh, a valuable input. And so that the management doesn't have to, uh, to deal with un the unproductive issue that deteriorates uh, their image and reputations. So, Thanks a lot for watching uh, this video, supporting my YouTube channel by subscribing, um, commenting, liking and sharing this video with your friends. You know that this means a lot uh, to me because it motivates me to produce more interesting video in the future. Alright, till here, until the future, thanks a lot.